Hey, your teenager is traveling to Mexico City. You're with your friends and David. But you're being hunted by Josiah and Fidel. Get out of the car! He yells Josiah as he points at as he points a shotgun at you and your friend. I don't want to kill anyone right now. Fidel looks like he would agree with him. But then shakes his head. That's a bitch. <laughs> Some H. Hmm. If they're not making me escape with like Fidel or someone. No, says Jesus. We can't run away from this. Josiah takes a deep breath and pulls the trigger, <laughs> blowing up part of the truck. The, bla the blast knocks you out of your feet, and you fall on top of David, who has been hiding behind some nearby cars. Dang. Now, what do you want now? Hmm... You pick up David. I don't know. It's on top of David. I pick up David. Yes, pick up That's David. What I pick. I pick up David. Let's see. Pick up David. David's eyes are widening in fear when he sees you picking up the boy. He screams for help, but nobody comes to his aid. Chuck continues rolling downhill until it hits its it's a tree trunk and stops. You can lie motionless on the ground, still holding each other tightly. Yeah, hi. Uh, well, um... <laughs> um... You play dead, and while David lies motionless next to you, you all continue playing dead. After a few minutes, someone walks over to the scene of the accident. They look <clears> around and see what happened, but they do not come forward to help. You all jump up to attack the man who shot you. David manages to grab one of your one of your arms and holds it tight while you both struggle against the other. It takes several attempts before you finally get him. Question uh, who he is. The man who just shot you. <laughs> what if it's Fidel and Josiah? <laughs> I don't know. Who are you, you, a you ask? I am John Smith, an American citizen! What? Who are you? My name is John Smith. I am here to help my brother David and me. Help my brother David and me. I should put a question mark, whatever. Yeah. Why did you shoot them? They were trying to rob me. I was defending myself. But they had guns. Yes. But they didn't have any money. They just wanted to take my car keys so they could drive faster. This story is confusing. <laughs> I know, right? Anything you want to say? No. Okay, um... <laughs> Get 
kills John Smith. Oh, I should say that. I'm gonna revert. Wait, hold on. Because if we don't, it might just end up killing one of us. Josiah comes back with his shotgun and pumps John Smith's stomach full of lead. Stand up and walk towards John Smith. John, why did you try to kill me? He's a little kid who deserves to die. How old are you? 21 years. That's too young to be killed. I don't know. Hey, what happened to Josiah? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How old are you really? Oh, I'm 21 years old. How old are you really? I don't know, maybe 19 or something? Maybe you're lying about your age. You know what? I'm tired. <laughs> we killed John Smith. <laughs> I'm tired of this man. Whose man is this? Whose man's is this? <laughs> <laughs> Turn to face John Smith. Look at me, John. Look into my eyes. John looks into your eyes and begins <laughs> crying. His hands begin shaking uncontrollably as he clutches his head. You shoot John Smith. <laughs> David. Ah, yes. We're trying to kill John Smith, man. Why won't you kill John Smith? You run over to John Smith and fire your gun. Bullet goes straight through John Smith's chest, killing him instantly. Finally dead. <laughs> Loot his body. You pick up the pistol from where John Smith dropped it. You put it back. He put it back in its holster, and then go over to the body of John Smith. You search for anything useful, but there is nothing else of value. <laughs> God. <laughs> you quickly go over to John Smith's body and kneel down. You urinate on his body, then you pull your pants up and leave the park. The park. <laughs> park. <laughs> yeah, we just we just kill a man in the park. <laughs> Didn't we roll over? Weren't we in a, yeah. with cars? <laughs> we were on like a high, we were on like dreaded mountain highway. Uh, it's in Mexico. And then like, we went down the mountain. So, okay, so we're up on the highway. Josiah blasts a chunk of <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> we run. David's hiding behind the cars. We all pumble downhill. I don't know. This is so wet. John Smith finds you. Finds us. <laughs> John Smith. <laughs> Twenty-eight minutes already. Jesus Christ. I could do this all day. <laughs> Honestly. The next day you decide to continue on to Mexico City. It'll probably be more safer there than in the city. You get off the bus and walk alongside of it. it. Seems like a long way now that you think about
David walks along the street and sees a, a woman walking down the middle of the street, the road. She has her arms wrapped around herself and, and is sobbing. <laughs> Whoa. David can see she is very distraught, but she doesn't seem to notice him. David approaches the woman and starts talking to her softly. <laughs> she pulls out a pocket knife. You slowly approach the woman. You grab her by the arm and pull her close to you. The, you place your hand against her throat and push her forward so she falls backwards onto the ground. Your other hand reaches out and grabs a hold of one of her fingers. Was it oh, supposed about, to stop, about, David? I know, right? We're about to commit rape. <laughs> Proceed to rape. Now I'm curious, what will it do? You twist it until you feel blood dripping down your fingers. You pull your hand back and throw the body the bloody finger at the woman who's who turns her head slightly to look at it. Her eyes widen in surprise when she catches sight of the bloody finger. Man, this is be bopping right now. <laughs> I'm sorry! You say. It was an accident. The woman stares at you with wide-eyed shock and disbelief. She doesn't respond, just continues to cry silently in your arms. Why is she still in your arms? I know, right? You let go of the woman and walks away. <laughs> it's like, I... this be normal? David just, like... beat a woman, and then just walks away. Nice. Freaking alpha move right there. Wasn't this supposed to be David's ex? Alright. In Mexico City. <laughs> you turn to the woman and say, We have to find Donald Trump. She looks at you with tears streaming down her face. She nods and begins to crying as well. You walk alongside of the woman and wave goodbye to everyone before disappearing into the crowd. We, so we just left. We just left you and David. What happened to the Cyan Fidel? Yeah, what happened to them? Why do we say that? What does it remind? What has it reminded? Nothing. Oh, I don't remember anything. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not white in this <laughs> That's our memory. Oh, I'm just gonna get I say, like, Fidel finds us. <laughs> you walk through the streets of Mexico City. The crowds are large and the people are standing all around you. You see a group of five young men sitting together watching you from across the street. They don't acknowledge or even pay attention to you. But they do watch you. Intently. Just enter? Yeah. You pass by them and begin walking towards the center of town. Suddenly you hear a voice behind you. Hey man! What y'all doing? You 
turn around and see a tall, skinny man wearing glasses, white button-up shirt, jeans, and sneakers. It's James! <laughs> yeah, that's me. Ugh, well, I'm <laughs> glad to meet you, he says. He pauses for a, for a fact and adds, and this will be the best thing that ever happened to me. Pause and take a deep breath. You realize that you've been holding me off. You've been holding something inside for quite some time now. It's a secret between you and James. A secret that could change everything about how things play out in the future. Or not. Oh. You decide that if you want to keep the secret, you need to be honest with him. So you tell him everything. He listens intently and nods his head several times in agreement. <clears throat> and he smiles and says, Okay then. Well, get you next time. I want to know what the secret was. I know, right? That's... You nod and smile back at him. You continue on your way. As you walk through the city, you think about what James said earlier today. About how he wanted to kill you. And make sure there was no one else like you left alive after he <laughs> did it. Dang! James is going to kill us at the skateboard. <laughs> After he fell from his skateboard. <laughs> Feel a sudden chill run through your body. Look over and see if the sun is set completely. Suddenly you stop and start shaking uncontrollably. Your hands shake so much that you can barely hold on to them anymore. You can't even speak right now. All you know is that you want to go home. You try to stand up but fall back down again. You're scared, confused, and you don't understand why. And suddenly you remember that's right. James told you to go home, and that means you have to go home now. You rush into the nearest building and collapse on the floor. Should we do enter or should we? I feel like we're about to die. <laughs> what David is there to do? Just collapse. Out? Yes, David and Jesus pick me up from the floor. You wake up from your nightmare as David and Seuss carry you out of the house. They both look very tired, though. They grab you and put you on their shoulders. The two of them walk quickly away from the house, carrying you in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Leo, hi. You're an MRE? The two of them stop walking. Wait, yeah. The two of them stop walking when they reach a large park. David looks around and sees nothing interesting, but then he notices something odd. There's a small group of people sitting on the benches nearby. One of those people seems to notice him and speaks to him in an excited tone. David's ex. <laughs> <laughs> the person he just beat up. It might, because, I mean, it does remember stuff from a while ago. Hey, I saw you guys coming. We're waiting for David turns around and sees a man wearing a hooded cloak. He doesn't recognize him immediately, but soon he does. Who are you? David asks. Ketel. Like that? Ketel? Yes. Ketel! <laughs> it's better to think that's the name. Oh, yeah. Bye, 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 bye.
I am known as the Shadow Master. <laughs> I am known as the Shadow Master. I've been watching you guys since day one. I knew that you'd come here eventually. I've been staring at the man in silence for a moment before speaking again. So, you're Shadow Master. Yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. Alright, we're gonna be assigned voices. Doing David and What? You're David and Asus. I'll do the rest. Alright. So who's talking, David? I think this is David now. Wait, who are you? What do you mean, since day one? Why why didn't anyone ever tell me this? Where did you get? Where did you get all these powers? It was not until recently that I learned of my. It took years to learn everything, but it wasn't long after that I began using. How? How did you become the Shadow Master? My parents died in a car accident when I was young. My father had wanted to be a doctor. But his dream never came true because of his death. Instead, he became a Shadow Master. Great Shadow Legend. Shadow Master is someone who can control shadows. They wow. use their ability to kill criminals or other shadows who commit crimes. In time, I decided to follow in his footsteps and become a master shadow as well. Hey, hmm. copying Shikamaru. <laughs> Approach the shadow man. <laughs> okay, the shadow man. <laughs> what are we gonna write? I was gonna say, from the east. <laughs> the east. The beast from the east. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just out of nowhere. <laughs> How do you know about my real name? I have many names, but most people call me Hitler's son. <laughs> most people. <laughs> most people. <laughs> what? How? How could he possibly know such a thing? Does he just completely <laughs> ignore that last sentence? I know. I like how I just ignored army. Oh. <laughs> Because I'm a vampire. Okay, and vampires dear. Don't die. You look at your hands, though. Which now resemble bat wings. Man continues to speak. Jesus. Oh. Wait, are we looking at our hands? I think so, yeah. Uh-oh, does it now know what to do? It's like, oh snap. He made David just completely forget about Hitler's son. Oh no, it's the- It's thinking. Ah, uh, we can't revert. So guys, we broke it. After 44 minutes. Should we restart? Do a new story? Oh wait. Oh. Uh, it's overloaded. Watch this one. New <laughs> the man suddenly disappears into thin air. You feel like you just got punched in the stomach by a ghost. This is bad news, but luckily there's still more questions to answer. Why would a vampire want to kill us? 
Who's who, who's this guy talking? Is this David? I think. I'll Maybe? explain later. I don't know. Then he just li just vanished a second ago. Right. So it's just you talking. I don't know. So I know why would a vampire want to kill his date? I eat. <laughs> All while the nuke is coming. I need to appear on the ground. She looks around and speaks. Who are you? You ask her. I'm a fairy! From uh, <laughs> oh, you're a fairy from another world? Why is I eat so fairy? <laughs> Why does she have that voice? <laughs> oh, you want me to call her up to be your line? <laughs> Go to that server. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm a fairy from another world. So what's with the mask on your face? Are you some sort of witch? No! Fairy tales! <laughs> Freaking Natsuki over here. <laughs> you punch. <laughs> you fire a beam of light I eat at I eat so. Her body explodes into pieces before your eyes. Yeah. Good night. Love you too. <laughs> oh, yours is a bit better because I'm gonna get the whole thing. Hold on. I thought I send this to I eat so. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what I just copy and pasted. I know, but I wanna- but yours is blurry. <laughs> I shoot I eat. The loot corpse. <laughs> Grab a piece of flesh and throw it away. You notice that you've been holding back. It seems as if you were afraid to hurt her feelings, only if she knew. You continue to walk down the street, searching for any signs of your companions. Oh, they're gone? <laughs> I thought we were here. Wasn't David the Lyric just asking about the Shadow Man? I think. The <laughs> Shadow Man, yeah. That's the guy who just vanished. I guess we vanished with him. <laughs> Just like the sign Fidel. Just gone. <laughs> Weren't we carrying you? Yeah. I love it how it just. <laughs> right off the bat. Josiah blasted a piece of the. <laughs> They're just right off the bat and gone. Theodore Roosevelt. It's like with, this? Yeah, it's with an E. It's with an E. Where? Uh, after the R. Yes. Is there two spaces there? There is. You head to the local bar where you see Theodore Roosevelt. He has no idea that you're here. Why would he know you? <laughs> hey, Teddy, what happened? 
Hey, Danny, what happened? You... Well, I was walking home and all crazy stuff started happening. Theodore replies. I ran into two men who looked very familiar, though. He trails off and shakes his head. SMH. SMH. Theodore SMH moment. Jeez! Jeez, Theodore! What? What, what do you mean, mean, you ask? They weren't human at all! They were something else entirely! It was only after I killed them that I realized they were. <laughs> this is why he's the best president. <laughs> he just straight up. full on freaking, uh. Stalin just. Your family! Shut! <laughs> hey, oh you showed you for all Why did you kill them on sight? Uh, yeah. Shrug. I didn't now have. I killed them. I didn't really have a choice to reply. They were vampires. Vampires? How do you know that? Because they had those glowing red eyes of theirs. And because their breath smelled terrible. Man, just this game pulled a full on reverse card. Maybe you should put Wits and Churchill. Yeah, he's a vampire, you say. That's great! Theodore says. Now, we need to get rid of him. You look at you look at each other and decide to go with you decide to go with Theodore's plan. It's completely Joseph Stalin. We should just kill him now, then. You start to leave. You look around and realize there isn't much going on in this town. Leo, is that making you mad? <laughs> is your name... Oh, your name is Leo Emery, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, wait. No, we don't have a name. Oh, we don't, huh? So did get attacked by the vampires. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> but where's Joseph? Tell him about... Oh, what? <laughs> Joaquin's? Jokins? Nah, I like Joaquin. Joaquin's prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joaquin's prophecy. <laughs> what happened to this iron fidel? What happened to me and David? <laughs> to put something else. It was an Italian theolog 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 
real life gym. Let's see. What is it? I'm trying to read it, but it's in weird. He was a very important thinker of the whole medieval period. He was Italian. Works. Why can't... So much ads on my phone. Well, according to which history develops in three ages, increasing spirituality, the ages of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Is that the guy who created that? Yes. His parentage and youth are are of a little historical significance, but from an autobiological reference seems certain. They went on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land that blah blah blah. I don't know. Don't really care. Honestly. You grab a shotgun from one of the cars. Bartender looks surprised by your actions. He doesn't even try to stop you. You grab a shotgun from one of the cars and walk out of the. Okay. In China. Walk a building where you think Joseph lives. As soon as you enter, you hear a gunshot and some screams from inside the house. A man appears behind you holding a pistol pointing him right at your face. Oh god. Theodore, help! <laughs> Theodore, help! Theodore disarms him. Bully, a challenge. <laughs> a bullet can stop the bull moose. Oh, you do it instead. Aww. Quickly disarm the man and run back outside. You immediately turn around and shoot the man in the head before running away. You look up the sky as you walk through the street of Nowellsville outskirts. No landsville. <laughs> I love how these stories, I can picture in a vivid image each time I hear these. I can see you just, before running away, just BANG! <laughs> it just turns around. BOOM! <laughs> For all we know, that could have been Joseph. That's true. <laughs> what if that was Joseph? <laughs> we just killed the vampire. <laughs> Were we literally outside his door? <laughs> the house where we believe he lived. I believe. Checks the body. Where is the door? Yes, Theodore, what happened? Wait. A you look down at your feet and see Theodore standing there with his hands in the air. You ask Theodore what happened. He tells you that he was walking home and two men came up <laughs> and asked for money. Did he just get mugged? <laughs> What'd you give him? Nothing. Just Theodore just got mugged. Oh, that's true. I should ask, huh? Wait. That's what you were saying. Stop. Oh!
the bombs? I just remembered. <laughs> game, game. <laughs> Jeez! I tell him he needs to leave because he's gay. He says no, but you can continue to press the issues. I tell him that. I tell him that if he stays. We have to deal with all the crap that comes to being gay. <laughs> this thing is anti gay. <laughs> I still can't get over it. Gay! Gay! <laughs> you're amazing, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You tell them that you're not gonna make it. You're not going anywhere either. You've always loved each other and you'll stay together forever. You tell them that you love them too. And kiss him goodbye. <laughs> I thought you were anti gay a second ago. <laughs> I know, right? But I'm type gay, gay. It's just... <laughs> no homo. Years pass. I'm gonna keep it around. Oh, the end. So, guys, we did it. Bedtime story is over. The story ends with we don't care what kind of person he is or isn't. You still hate the world and everything in it. There's nothing else for you here except death. Death is the only friend now, and you will die with him. Fifty years pass. The end.